right, hello, how is it going? Welcome back to S2W. I think this is like seven in a row now in December. What? That's bizarre. Anyway, today we're going to be watching the dumbest criminals caught on camera. We got behind this vehicle, ran a records check on the plate, and it's coming back as a stolen vehicle. Okay. What's that? Oh. The car's stolen? Did I say that? <laughs> I never told you the car was stolen, did I? Did I say that you were here? I'm asking. Why would you ask me if the car was stolen? How did you come in possession of this car? Uh, my friend Mandy gave it to me. Mandy, a female? Yeah. When? Today. What time? Uh, around 2 a.m. or something like that. How do you know Mandy? Mandy, she's just from the block, you know what I mean? She just... Kind of like Jenny? She, I, I, someone knew the camera as well. Kind of like Jenny. Just come on, do your job. Look at this one. If you're going to break into a jewelry store, you might want to have an escape route in okay, mind. Take a the watches. this guy. He's easily the worst burglar ever. Oh, she's mocking it. Through the roof, and then he gets trapped inside by shatterproof glass. Oh, no, fella. He was stuck long enough for cops to oh, show up. Oh, fella. He, he hangs his head in defeat. He lies down on the ground also, and you know, just knew it was all over. Oh, so what that's does he pretty do? Sad. He lights up a cigarette before cops slap on oh. the cuffs. Oh, I quite like your style, fella. I quite like your style. A Perth robber's getaway came to a crashing halt when he ran into a glass door at full speed after snatching a woman's bag. Oh, the bandit grabbed the bag from a 50-year-old oh, woman. Oh, and a news oh, oh, God, he's so fast. Morning. He's zooming. Security he's zooming. Oh, my God. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And... <laughs> Oh, oh God, he's out cold. But people come to his aid, but an accomplice who was waiting in a stolen car soon appears and begins threatening the crowd. Both men escape. Oh, they got away. Good effort. Imagine getting knocked out cold and then still escape. That's pretty impressive. Let him keep the stuff, I reckon. He's a thief who took a UPS package with a $160,000 diamond inside. Think he went on a shopping spree? Not quite. John Erickson is live now, and John, 160 grand would be a lot of money to most people. Sure, it is a lot of money, Steve. So much the suspect could have bought a Mercedes like this for himself. <laughs> right, American news is so weird, man. Like, who thought of that little segue? Police say he didn't do anything like that. What did he do? This heist happened on the hot tarmac at Sky Harbor. The suspect, not accused of jumping the fence or sneaking in, Walter Morrison was allowed to be here. The 20 year old was a UPS employee unloading a plane. Police say a package went missing, and inside the box that vanished was a $160,000 diamond. Morrison allegedly stuck it up his shirt and walked off with the stone, something that looks like this. Brett Taubman owns House of Diamonds. Any single stone over $100,000 is an expensive stone. Mm, that was, uh, thank you, Brett. Brilliant report there, fella. Morrison didn't trade the monster rock for piles of cash, didn't play deal or no deal until he found the right partner. Instead, he swapped it for about 20 bucks worth of marijuana. <laughs> That's not a good oh, deal. Oh, 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 even the policeman's mocking it. Phoenix police found him, charged Morrison with a felony, and UPS yeah. fired him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he deserves everything he gets for finessing himself that badly. Enter, Poppy. Put your head down. Oh, oh. oh. You no, Poppy, nothing. You sure? Yes, Poppy. I ain't your Poppy. Yes, officer. Yes, officer. You hear me? Yes. Poppy? You want to go home, Poppy? Roll up. Are you calling me Poppy again? That officer. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you call me that. Don't call me Poppy again. All right, Poppy. All right, it's a bit like the Latino version of I'm not calling you Baldy Baldy. You can call me Baldy or like. I didn't call you Baldy Baldy. This, this is going to be good. Let's go ahead now and take you right to the video where you can see just how two would-be burglars attempted. I've seen this. This is ancient. You can see crook number one, the lookout, is handling his assignment. And he, he clots well. himself with this the rock, right? No one is looking. At this is old, old. I remember having this video on, like, me Sony Ericsson slide up phone. That's how old this is. In the coconut. Oh, he got the other guy. His cohort is completely I thought he just got himself. It doesn't wow. even check to see if he's okay. Wow! He decides to throw another boulder through the glass. Oops. He too enjoys a brick sandwich. The perfect crime was diverted by a powerful one-two window punch. Uh, I think you know what? I I really enjoyed this as the air five. I don't think it's real anymore. I think it's it's a lie. <laughs> Okay, but the one thing that led me to believe that there might be some marijuana <laughs> Right behind you here, brother. Very good. Very good. Powers of observation. I didn't even know it was there. Amazing how that happens. <laughs> Is, is your 
criminal or is the man go, just pinched go, a pumpkin? Go, go. I don't know if you do just... Oh! oh <laughs> I don't think I do jail time for pinching a pumpkin. Hey, listen, Sean. Yeah. Listen, what? listen to me. Okay? What? You said you wanted a breath test. Yeah, go ahead. Give okay. me a breath test. Okay, I'm not going to give you a breath test. I'm going to give you a breath test. Oh, okay. you got him there, Pitbull. Come on, Mr. Worldwide. Take a picture. Take some photos. I hope you guys are in a car wreck yeah. chasing someone. And we got an overnighter, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Note to accused bank What is robbers. this? What? Doesn't help your case to post yourself on YouTube waving around cash. <laughs> no, we're not. If you're going to steal it, you might as well flex it. And you might want to reconsider Chick bank. titling your... Chick bank robber? 19-year-old Hannah Sabata was arrested one day after the Cornerstone Bank in Waco, Nebraska was robbed. You know, they're not the smartest thing to do. The suspect seems to like writing notes, like the one that said, Then I stole a car. And indeed, a stolen car was. Well, why has he got all those dislikes? That's sick. When do you ever see a bank robber YouTube video? That's good content. Okay, yep, steal them. Not, not going great. This is not, not going brilliant, mate. No. No, the thing is, they're actually like, they're like plugged in. Yeah, they're like locked. Right, yeah, you didn't really think about this one, did you? Maybe just nick a phone or something. Oh, wait, they're locked in too. All you've done is really make a mess there, fella. Maybe just go home. You reckon? Just sack it off? Not really. Gonna be anything much worth there. You've just broke it all. Still going? Yeah, I mean, the, the rest of it went so well. Right, yeah, well, at least you got off a laptop. He seemed pretty nervous. His hands were shaking when he gave me his ID. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm kind of homeless. Uh -huh. And now I'm just waiting for my first paycheck so I can fix everything. So you don't live here? Huh? You don't oh, live it's here? I seen you, so I didn't want to pull right here because it was just gonna stop everything. You're getting ready to turn in here before my lights were even on. Oh, it says I live on there. Uh, I thought you're the Oaks. I thought you were homeless. Do you have anything illegal in this car? Uh, I don't. I shouldn't have. Oh, you're not filling this with confidence, fella. I, I, I shouldn't have. There might be something in there, but it's not mine. Not in my car. You got some in there too. I got it, yeah. I got it. yeah. Use, that's all personal use. Personal use. I mean, I'm just saying, that's a I man. That's a variety right there, brother. <laughs> Is that gonna be it? <laughs> all right, I can't show it. He's got a lot of drugs. The guy goes, "That's a variety." He's like, "Yeah." He's the policeman. He's not your mate. Don't look proud. Don't look proud to him. Is that gonna be it? And maybe a, a personal scale just to weigh myself. A, may like... Maybe a personal scale. She's sleeping. Are you kidding me? No. Hello, ma'am? 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 I think she's dead. I don't want her to roll. Oh, oh no, no, no. In park. Pasco, I think she's sitting on one just took off southbound. But you were I sleeping You were sleeping in the car. Are you okay? I was not sleeping in the car. I, I was, was banging on your window. The sunshine and whiskey. I was banging on your window? No, you weren't. She was drinking whiskey? Well, don't tell him that. Just tell him you fell asleep. Minnesota man is in jail tonight because he logged on to Facebook. Yeah, police say that Nicholas Wig checked his profile from a home he had broken into and then didn't log. Oh, Nicholas fella. Okay, Raditz shows us how the homeowner helped police catch Wig. Was it really that urgent? Could you not wait until you just got home with their stuff? When James Wood came home Thursday morning, his house had been ransacked, several items gone. Credit cards, cash for a soccer tournament, checkbook. Uh, watch. Kind of started to panic. Wood notified police, but then noticed something on his computer. He, uh, <laughs> he pulled up his Facebook profile, um, and left it up. Police say 26 <laughs> Wig had checked his Facebook while stealing from the house and forgotten to log out. You even logged in! I shared his photo, and I said, watch out for this guy, he's a thief. People kept commenting on that. That can't be he real! left his phone number, asking anyone to- That's like leaving your house address, bank statements, utility- Might as well have left your passport! Okay, oh, oh god, we got the whole gang. Whole gang of police- Oh wait, are they not police? What are they doing? What's going on? Oh, what? What? Oh, that's that can't be real. Everyone can see. That can't be real. 
Surveillance video shows some frantic moments inside a Spruce Grove convenience store. Two suspects trying to escape police, one going to great heights to do it. CTV Chanel Call reports. Moments before she surrendered. Oi, whoa, where did she come from? That's how babies are born. Owners say they called police because the two seemed suspicious. What, what do you mean seemed suspicious? She just threw through the ceiling. What do you mean seemed suspicious? All right, anyway, that's the end of this video. Hope you have enjoyed as always. Please do leave a like if you have and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys later.